Okay, so once we're done with that, uh, we'll move on to a new concept. Let's see how we include themes. So there are two ways of uh, using themes in the Beamer class. You can either use a built-in solution or you can do it yourself. Doing it yourself might be a little difficult as of now. So I, I'll show you how uh, we use the built-in solution. Okay, all you need to do is in the preamble type use theme and type any theme which you know. And to specify the color palette, you need to use use color theme. View. Okay, so this should generate our theme. Yes, now this is starting to look more like a presentation. Um, here we have our section one and here we have a small heading here is the author and we have a subheading date the slides etc etc so that's how you use a theme and uh, moving on let's see um suppose we encounter a situation um wherein there's a lot of text and a particular slide what would generally happen is that it would result in a bad box as in the text would overflow the frame so in order to avoid this there is an option called shrink so if you use shrink what latex basically does is it reduces the font of the text such that all the text uh, fits in one single slide so all you need to do to use shrink is type in shrink after begin frame so once you do this yes the entire text is in one frame so that is how you use shrink um, another frame option is plain. What plain would do is it would remove all frills and create more space for the large uh, for large text and large pictures, etc., etc. So it would remove the uh, top bar, it would remove the lower bar, and it would remove everything else except the content in the uh, slide. So let's see what happens if we use that. Yes, it's it's removed almost everything and it's included only the text. So that is frame plane. 